here, we try to find somebody who is doing, is teaching our youth about stuff that we like. You know, unless your teachers teach your youth about history, about culture, about the songs we used to sing, about the plays we used to have, about the um, information that we have, then it gets lost. It gets lost because most parents, most people aren't going to sit there and actually talk to your kid about it, but they'll listen to the teacher. And that's wonderful to actually have somebody who, maybe this isn't her course, she may not be the history teacher, but they still have it in their heart that they teach that. And that's one of the best things that we have, and we're so proud to have Megan Cordova. That's our <laughs> at uh, St. Mary's School in Berlin. Now I want you to tell us what grade you teach and what you do and why you do this. And, okay. Watch it. and I'm prepared. This is my like, Academy Awards. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, so I teach fourth grade at St. Mary's. Um, but before I kind of get into that, I, I really want to say how uh, grateful I am to receive this award, uh, especially amongst some, such great historians in this room. Um, um, one that has influenced me the most is actually Dr. Melzer. So I, as a freshman in college, I took Dr. Melzer's uh, U.S. history course, and he just facilitated my love of history. Um, and I have such a deep love for U.S. history and New Mexico history uh, that his help and his teaching and his research really influenced me in undergraduate school and graduate school. So I really, it's such an honor uh, to be here amongst all of you and I just want to recognize him. Um, I, I want to talk about why I love teaching New Mexico history. So, <laughs> I love teaching New Mexico history's uh, rich and unique culture and traditions. Having the opportunity to teach New Mexico history is a dream of mine because I get to share my love of our state with our future generations. New Mexico history is extremely important and relevant to students because it takes place where they live. It differs from other subjects because this is not just a textbook uh, explanation, it's a living and breathing story. So it's tangible to students. Go down the street and see a historic church or historic building. Uh, it really resonates with them because they can see it. And that's the best part about teaching it for me, is that we just don't open a book and imagine what it might be like. We go out and we do things. And uh, I took them to the Capitol, I took them to the legislature, I take them on field trips. It's just, it just facilitates such a love for them. And I think they're representatives of New Mexico themselves, so knowing the history is really important for me and for them. That is so cool. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to add that she teaches New Mexico history. She doesn't teach it the glossy surface of, you know, the, she doesn't make Adobe houses, for example. <laughs> she actually teaches real history, and that's what's really valuable. Thank you. World. Thank you so much. Uh, I actually, so to kind of tell you about that, um, I had two specific projects this year that we did in fourth grade, and one of them was, uh, this is Milo, he's going to come up here. <laughs> <laughs> one was we actually studied uh, colonial style churches, and two churches, and each student had to pick a church in New Mexico and then write a research report about it and recreate it in a 3D model. And it, I was just so impressed by how kids could recreate uh, archi the architectural s structure of a church, and it was really great. Um, he's my future student. <laughs> 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 um, and, then, and then another thing we did was tomatoes and ratavos, is I, I we paint traditional ratavos, so those are really cool stuff. I'll cool. stop talking now. She <laughs> <laughs> is a future gym song. <laughs> And we have a cash award or a check oh, awesome. for our teacher award because we always know the teachers spend every every penny you get plus what you don't get to put back into the school and put back into your kids. So we have a check for you. Oh, wow. Thank you so much. Don't catch it for a week. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, thank you. And just so you know, she is, she is 
Oh, oh, okay. Well, my met my. I have a long name too. <laughs> okay. Okay. She's also the first lady of Bolivia. Yeah. Married to Jared Cordova. So, anyways, thank you. We're so proud. Thank you so much. <laughs>